Awesome. Why, why don't we start with the what? And we're actually going to focus just quickly on employee advocacy because this is actually the big bucket or the umbrella that people know um, of. And, and employee advocacy is, is really simply it's the promotion of a brand or company by your employees. And you see this probably all the time on LinkedIn, and you might see it in a variety of different formats. It could be employees sharing more about their brand. It might be press releases or new products. It could be employees sharing their experience working at a different company. And we see this a lot from an uh, employer branding and recruiting perspective. Or it could just be amazing folks that are sharing their point of view and their insights and becoming thought leaders on LinkedIn. All of these things fall under the bucket of employee advocacy. But a slice of employee advocacy that's really important and why I think this audience is here today is social selling. And social selling, this part of advocacy, is a part that is focused in on impacting revenue. And, and that's certainly what we care about here. But it, I think in the past, social selling has been considered just a top of funnel, um, demand gen uh, part of employee advocacy. But it's actually much more than that. And we'll, we'll talk a little bit about it here today. But it's about driving awareness. It's about certainly driving lead gen. It also helps you with the middle funnel conversion as you're engaging with customers. And then even post-sale, it's about customer success and adoption. So we have all these amazing opportunities that fit under this social selling umbrella. And at Sprout, we've been doing this for a little while now. We've had employee advocacy in our product set since about 2016. And a number, hundreds of our customers rely on us today to generate social selling, leveraging our platform. So I'll share a little bit about what we've seen in the industry from our customer base as we go.